Now to that towering inferno that broke out hours before New Year's Eve celebrations in Dubai. Intense flames spreading quickly, burning up the side of this luxury hotel. Worried crowds watching as a fireworks show nearby went on as planned. Today, the building still smoldering, thick smoke pouring out of windows. And tonight, the photographer and his images that show how he was caught up right in the middle of that fire. ABC's David Wright on the investigation. It was a blaze big enough to upstage the dazzling New Year's fireworks at the world's tallest building. Starting on the 20th floor of this high rise, a few blocks away from Dubai's Burj Khalifa, and quickly engulfing the whole building. About 16 people injured, a miracle no one was killed. Photographer Dennis Borja Mayari had an uncomfortable close up. We were at the 48th floor address hotel happening right now. He had set up his cameras on the 48th floor of the hotel that burst into flames to catch the fireworks, only to be caught up in this. He put on the window washer's rig and lowered himself over the edge, calling friends, talking to rescuers. Yes, I can see they're running about. Look down. Those are his feet there on the ledge. Investigators still don't know what caused the Dubai fire, but it is the kind of thing that gives people nightmares here in New York and in other cities with tall buildings. But fire safety officials here say a high-rise fire like this is less likely to happen in this country. That's because our building codes and our fire safety procedures are designed to prevent it. The buildings are fireproof buildings, so it's the, the building does not burn. It's only the contents inside the, the building that burned. Eventually, firefighters did come to Mayari's rescue, leading him down the stairs with an oxygen mask. In Dubai today, the fire is mostly out, but the building, and so many questions, still smoldering. David Wright, ABC News, New York.